to talk about breakfast foods, the do's and don'ts of breakfast. So my first question, Jasmine, is we always hear this, breakfast is the most important meal of, of the day. Is there, is there any truth to that? Absolutely. Often I see clients who are not eating an adequate breakfast, uh, are having an unbalanced breakfast, are making poor choices when they're in a rush and they buy something when they're on the go, or they're skipping breakfast altogether. So why is it so important? Why can't we skip breakfast? People who skip breakfast often are going to have lower energy levels throughout the day. They're going to suffer from uh, hunger pangs, food cravings, um, and that will lead to overeating and binging later on in the day and will actually promote a weight gain, which is something most people don't want to have. Also, if you look at the word breakfast and break it down, it's made up of two words, break fast. You're breaking your fast. You want to break your fast as quickly as possible uh, when you wake up. So within 30 to 60 minutes of waking up, you should eat something. If you're going to skip your breakfast and essentially put yourself in starvation mode for a longer amount of time throughout the day, your metabolism is going to be slower. Uh, therefore, you're going to be storing your caloric intake more as fat and you won't be as efficient in burning your, your caloric intake. Now that we know that breakfast is important, what makes up a good breakfast? A breakfast uh, should be made of a bunch of different components. You want to make sure that there is a whole grain. You want to make sure that there is a fruit or a vegetable. Uh, there should be a healthy protein, uh, some healthy fats, and if possible, a source of calcium. A breakfast should have between three and 500 calories. I don't want to just see like one slice of toast with butter on it. It's, it's not enough. You have to make sure that your breakfast is substantial, again, to prevent the binge eating uh, later on and to keep your energy levels stable. What are some of the most common mistakes people make when choosing breakfast foods? Besides skipping breakfast altogether, uh, common mistakes that I see are people who just don't eat an adequate, big enough breakfast. Other mistakes I see are certain breakfast foods that you would not want to have. Breakfast foods that are made of processed or refined flours um, or that have a lot of added sugars to them. For instance, a breakfast cereal like this is not very good. It's not going to give you the, the energy that you need for the day full of uh, added sugars amongst other ingredients that you don't want to put into your body. Things like white bread. Not a good choice, again, uh, not high in fiber, has a very high glycemic index, not going to keep you full for very long. Another example would be Pop-Tarts and cereal bars and things like that. Uh, I'll often have clients who are eating things like this. Not a good way to start your day, full of added sugars, made with a lot of processed uh, flour and starches. Essentially, you're just eating a piece of cake for breakfast. Another issue that I uh, often see are people who drink their breakfast, which doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, but uh, often there's not the right components inside a smoothie or a shake. Uh, if you're making a smoothie and it just has juice and different fruits in it, basically what you're essentially drinking is a cup of sugar. It's not enough uh, to keep you going. It's not high enough in fiber or protein or healthy fats, so you have to make sure that you're having the right components in your breakfast. So a lot of people, you know, don't have time to make breakfast at home. Uh, they're on the go. Uh, they certainly don't have time to make breakfast. They're eating in the car. They're eating at the office. They're picking up something to eat. What are some of the things that they need to watch out for? What are the problems there? That's a very good question. Uh, people who eat out, uh, who are on, in a rush and on the go and picking up breakfast, uh, at restaurants uh, have a very big challenge ahead of them. A lot of these foods are supersized, very big portions, very high in calories, not the right calories, um, very high in fat, a lot of saturated fat, uh, and sodium. They're not the bre balanced breakfast like I was talking about before. For example, a muffin such as this one could pack in anywhere from three to 500 calories. Um, a lot of the baked goods out there, the scones, the muffins, the donuts, uh, the banana breads and things like that, they can even go up to 700 calories. Um, they have a lot of added sugar to them, up to 10 teaspoons of added sugar, um, 10 to 15 grams of fat, most of them being saturated fat, artery clogging fat. Another typical breakfast that I see, the bagel and cream cheese. We have to be careful with this breakfast. Uh, bagels out there are huge, they're supersized. Um, they could be equivalent to three, four slices of bread. And the cream cheese, uh, unfortunately, is not like having regular cheese. Um, there's no, it's not a good source of calcium or protein, uh, which a lot of people do think it is. So you have to be careful with the cream cheese. And again, it's giving you another 100 to 200 calories, depending on how thick the cream cheese is. Another food that, uh, breakfast food that um, people go get when they're on the go at fast food restaurants would be those breakfast wraps or breakfast sandwiches. Uh, you really have to be careful with those because, again, they tend to be very high in calories, 
um, they could be high in sodium and fats and saturated fats. They're filled with a lot of high fat cheeses, um, different meats that are very high in sodium, processed meats, um, and the bread typically is not 100% whole grain. Even if it is, you have to be careful what the other components are in the sandwich. So now we know the essentials. Breakfast is important. Don't skip breakfast. Eat a balanced meal and eat enough for breakfast.